uh, go through some of the top tools that people use to kind of do their research with NFTs. We all love data. We all go to Coin Market Cap and check out, you know, what the top trending coins are, what the most recent percentage changes are. You can see what the price are for the top 10 coins, how much volume they've done. They're moving up and down or what's going on here. Um, you know, you can scroll down and see the project price. And we in the cryptocurrency space, we like to do, do our research like this, quick to absorb. We know exactly what's going on. One glance at the screen, and we can get information within a minute for, you know, all of our projects that we want. So, you know, some of us might use coin market cap. You can see with Decentraland land, uh, mana, you can follow the token price. You can even, you know, do all sorts of stuff. Um, so a similar type of thing, but in the NFT space, it's a bit different because not only do you want to follow the token price, but you want to, you want to follow the most recent sales of those specific NFTs. So for that, we have a website currently called non-fungible, uh, open rankings. We also have nonfungible.com, which we'll go through later, but open rankings, you can see the top trending projects similar to coin market cap. Um, you can filter it by categories, domain names, virtual worlds, um, yeah, virtual worlds, uh, art, trading cards, whatever you want. You can see how much seven day change they've had and you can kind of explore. And what I normally do is I go to OpenSea rankings. I check out the most, the, the seven day change. If something spikes up, I'll take a look at it. Um, like rareable spikes has spiked up for a while. Super rare, actually it spiked up. And for me, it's not about what spikes up because that could just be a pump in volume. And suddenly maybe someone just threw like 2000 Ethereum at a project. For me, it's a question of will that sustain in the next one or two weeks, three weeks, uh, three months, six months, are they going to continue holding that top spot? So for me, that's important. I don't want like this big movement and then the back down. That's a kind of dangerous, volatile space period that we normally have for pre-sales. And for a lot of pre-sales, we see that. We see like a big spike in volume and a kind of disappearance because, you know, this is not doing well. But super rare here, like you can see, you can click into it and... You can see like the average price for NFTs have increased for the last two years consistently. I like these graphs where it's consistent. Yeah, it may have some spikes, but I like to see consistency in how they how those how those work, right? And you can click into Super Rare and you can see some of them have sold for 20 Ethereum. And so I'll, I'll go into Super Rare and then I'll click on recent sales and they'll show me the recent sales that have happened. And I like to be like, all right, well, who's this artist? Um, I think his name was Femzor. Yeah, okay, so I'll I'll find him on Super Rare. I'll find him on Twitter. Um, I'll see how his recent sales are. I'll see who his recent collectors are. I'll see if I like the type of art that he's done, is doing. I can get behind that artist, if I can help that artist in any way. And you know, this is specific um, research for the art or an artist, but it, it's similar for other things. So for each project, in this case, art for other projects like Virtual Land or Axie Infinity or something, it has different ways of researching. So Femzo, yeah, you know, you know, you can go in and take a look and check out his Twitter and see how he's done. Um, you know, again, like, do I like the art? What kind of stuff is happening? Uh, you know, user eighteen. Um, you can go into there. You can find them. On OpenSea and see if you like their art. Um, so rare, which is like a um, crypto, it's kind of like a um, fantasy sports type project, right? Where you can collect these cards. So you can see like what's happening here. It seems like every day or every week, there seems to be like some massive. I think it's a reverse option they're doing is like every time they have like this new club, new cards. And you know, people are collecting this fantasy sports cards that you can get and play those fantasy sports games with so there you know do you want to get behind that check the most recent sales when you're buying something see what the similar type of assets have sold for in the past so you know you're not getting ripped off you're getting a good deal 99 clubs officially licensed new clubs every week so yeah it seems like some some it looks like some this look kind of going through their pre-sale so those new new items every week um so again, like I'm not into soccer as much. I like to play soccer, but I don't follow these leagues as much, right? So will I have strength going in there? Not really. Um, so I try and stay with, uh, stay away with it because I don't understand that, that, right? So if it's virtual land or Pokemon or something that I understand a lot about it, I will continue to do that. Rareable, you know, it's suddenly spiked up, but it's half of this volume is like wash training because rareable 
pays people in Rari, Rari tokens for buying and selling. So a lot of users are wash trading. It's not really the fault of Rarible, but you know, you got to keep aware of that. So the only way you know that is by researching, joining the discords as well. And you can see auto, autoglyphs here, 550 Ethereum, it's gone up a thousand one hundred percent out of nowhere. Um, you know, you want to click into that and see what's going on there. Um, Nonfungible.com is really good. You can go and search something like Decentraland land and you can see the most recent lands that have sold, why they are selling for that much, how recent they've sold for, and you can go and look at the type of land because some are connected to roads, some are close to districts. Um, they're going for, you know, those prices, etc., etc. So you can get a, f a, a feel of following this for a week or two and seeing every sale and, and the price for every sale. You get a number in your head, you'll be like, hmm, if I want to buy this land, then I know that previously it sold in this range so I can buy that and I'll be comfortable at that specific price. You know when you're overbuying or underbuying. So a project like nonfungible.com, which kind of go through the most recent sales for a lot of websites. Again, autoglyphs. Um, you can go to recently sold and you can see, all right, well, some store for 3.57, 118. Autoglyphs are the first kind of generative art, they say, that's purely on the blockchain. So these are also the guys behind CryptoPunks and they've released, I think, 515. Looks like one here, the set of 10 sold for 250 Ethereum. So that one, you know, do you, do you want to get into that? You know, you can check that out. Again, some places like Axie Infinity have their own local market um, kind of tracker so i have these you can go to the axie infinity discord and check out um their own recent sales and you just like be like yo what's happening man hey guys what's a mystic axie um i've heard about this you know ask questions um get involved in the discussion that's how you're going to learn again you are learning more about the project it's not so much just buying a cryptocurrency that you can sell at any time you're buying an nft that you want you may not be able to sell it as quickly because you have to wait till someone's buying it, right? It's a more complicated market. So Axie Infinity, you can go straight to the marketplace.axieinfinity.com um, and go check out the most recent land sales, the most recent Axie sales, the most recent item sales, and take your time to do your research to see what's been going on. It looks like Arctic lands have sold for around 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 Ethereum. Um, you know, just learn about the industry. Also, we have gods unchained here where you can go in and take a look at each card you can check out all time looks like this card's dropped pretty big in value and i know that because um they're having big issues at the moment with gas transactions and congestion which i know they're going to fix and it, i personally feel this is going to go back up pretty crazy but you can see like the certain price and there's like you know x amount available for these prices you can buy them at that price if you want to you can do your research and looking at a graph like this and see when you're buying if you're buying at a low etc so, you know, each project, so we went through like four or five different projects that have their own websites, either community or their own websites that give you information in terms of data about them. So this is Token Trove. Um, if you want to do, like, this is a really good website for Decentraland or even Crypto Voxels, nftcryptonews.com slash DCL. You can do asking price and it gives you a hot map of a heat map of like where the cheap lands are something more pictorial and as like people come and build these sort of products they give you it gives you an idea of you know how things work and it makes the buying process easier for you we're still a very new industry and people are still kind of growing these projects so these these are still kind of being built you can also see um you know maybe you want to see how high people can build and estates as we know the more you join together the higher you can build so something like this that shows you the build height um, will give you a really good indication as to how much value you're getting for your land. Um, you know, and also follow my Twitter. You guys know that I tweet the crap out of this stuff. I do two minute updates on what's happening. Um, your research is more about just following the market. So who do you want to be involved with? Also, I have a NFT discord. It's called NFT investors hub, which you know, you can connect yourself to these bots and these bots kind of ping us every time a sale is made. So every time a Gods Unchained legendary card is sold or a name is sold or a Decentraland land is sold, it tells us. And this way you can keep, um, you know, in the know of things.